Hey guys, it's Krista with Litter to Glitter. How are you guys doing this afternoon? I have a very, very fun, fun video today. I am going to be doing um, some home decor from uh, the dollar store, the Dollar Tree, and it's gonna be really fun. Today, I'm, I usually, you know, I carry three lines of paints in my store. I carry Miss Lillian's Modern Trends and Dixie Belle. And so I, you're gonna see a lot more videos of me combining those paint lines because there's certain things about each paint line that I do like. So that's what we're doing. Hey, Jana. So I've got you pulled up over here so you don't have to see me squint and go like that all day. So I've got you pulled up here if you got any questions. And let me show you what we're gonna be doing. So one, we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be using the Miss Lillian's Metal Smith, which is a patina. We're gonna be using uh, some uh, metallics. Um, and then we're also gonna be using their Southern Rust Kit. So let me show you guys um, this is their patina. They have what's called a mini uh, patina sampler that you can get. And the one that I got had this um, Krolian patina and H gold, and it comes with a primer as well. What's up, Ladybug? Hey, Christy. And so this is the one that I got. It came with a primer, H gold, and the Krolian blue, or patina. And then... We're gonna be doing, I've got some uh, skulls from the Dollar Tree that we're gonna be doing in patina. And then I've got, uh, let's see here. I already did this pumpkin in the, blue, in the uh, gold with the patina on it. And so this was the age gold with patina. Now, I am fortunate because there is something that you can use with the Miss Lillian's product called, uh, well, it's, uh, oh boy, patina powder and copper. And so it's just a little baggie of, of metal, copper, and that you can sprinkle on your wet coat before you spray it. And so that's what I did on this one is that I heavily sprinkled because I wanted heavy patina on it. And so you can see where I didn't, it's very faint patina and then very heavy patina in areas, other areas. So we're gonna be doing that. And then I've also got some Christmas ornaments that I picked up uh, again for a dollar. And we're going to be doing some of those. So without further ado, I wanna show you guys, I've already done the blue on the male skull yesterday and hit it with the patina. And that's that right there. Doesn't that look just phenomenal? And I added some of the extra patina powder around the mouth and the eyes. So yeah, I love the way that came out. So I wanna hit the patina first. So when I spray it, it'll have time to activate and then we can, I'm trying to see, I did an, uh, one of the, um, there it is. And I did one of the Christmas ornaments in the patina as well to show you guys. And then I've got one of the Christmas ornaments and I've got the female skull already primed. I just have to do the top coat and then spray it. So that's what we're gonna be doing right now is now the one thing that's a little bit different about the Miss Lillian's is that this is a true patina. The paint is very heavily, very, very heavy, heavy on the metal in the paint. And so you don't just wanna shake it, you wanna make sure that you stir and you get to the bottom and you get all of that metal flake that settles to the bottom. And so that's one of the things I did learn when I first started using Miss Lillian's products was that when it comes to the patina, make sure you stir and stir and stir and stir and make sure you get that stuff off the bottom. And also, if you are you have it sitting for a few minutes, make sure you stir again before you do another coat. So, let me grab a brush. And 
then I'm gonna brush on the aged gold on the lady skull. I just really like going um, and just picking up little items and then upcycling them. In our house, we don't do a big, you know, store-bought Christmas thing. We really, we like to make Christmas. And usually for Christmas, I make um, hand-painted bags or shirts or sometimes furniture. Um, whatever it is, you just try to hand make it. And so that's one of the things is that you can do with just a little bit of paint and some creativity, you can go ahead and you can make stuff for all different occasions very inexpensively and from the heart. That's the big thing, from the heart. Remember that feeling that when somebody like, if you're older like I am, like when your kids would make you a card or something and just walk up and go, here, mom, even though it was like out of a folded piece of, of paper or something, it didn't matter because, you know, they made it. It's the same feeling for Christmas for us. We, we make Christmas. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna take the powder that I was telling you guys about. I'm gonna take the powder that I was telling you about, the patina powder, and I'm gonna add it to certain areas that I want a tr uh, thicker patina. And you just sprinkle it just like you would. And I definitely wanna hit that rose heavy. I definitely want the rose in her hair to be heavily patinaed. And so I'm just sprinkling it on around the eyes kind of around the mouth. And a little bit here and a little bit there. You can see where the brown powder is. And then this comes with the green patina spray. So I'm gonna spray this down. Definitely want to make sure that rose gets nice and okay and then I'm gonna set it over here and before we're done I will show you guys how much now it takes about 15 minutes for the patina to sh start showing with the miscellaneous but it'll go up to I think they said like 18 hours yep so about 18 hours the patina will keep going so let me set that Ooh, right there Yay for the floor. Ah, okay, so now I'm gonna hit the Christmas ball, which this is a flat one that I got, but it's, it started off like that, and I used the Miss Lillian's primer on it, and then I'm gonna hit it with the gold paint, the gold patina paint, And then I'll sprinkle some more on this one because I really like the way that that patina, this gold patina comes out. I just thought it was, yesterday was the first day that I've used it, this patina pack. And I just thought that the gold was phenomenal. Let's see, da, 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 da. So again, I'm gonna grab some of the patina powder. And it does have patina in this. I'm just doing extra patina. So you don't have to use the patina powder. It's just, I want extra patina. So sprinkle it all over. Here we go, put that back. I don't need it all. And then I'm gonna spray it. Make 
make sure I got it all over. Deep in there. And then what I'm going to attempt to do is to set this down right in front so y'all can kind of watch this as we go along. But I don't know if my fingers are gonna let me do that. So I'm just gonna put that down. Now if I had it over here on this edge, but putting it down in front of me is a little bit more difficult. So, eek, nope. Boy, did I ever mess that up, but it's okay. It's patina. So it's supposed to be rusty and crusty. There it is. So that's the, uh, the two pieces that we're gonna do in patina today. And that way they're, um, they're sprayed. And so in the next few minutes, we'll go back and check on those. So let me put that in my water. And then we can also go back and hit them with the Miss Lillian's Gilding Jewels, which is their colored waxes. Did y'all just see what I did? I did not take the air out of the bag. And so when I shut the bag, there's no way it's going back in the tin with all that air in the bag. So, and so this is the Metal Smith. Hey, Betty. Betty's on. So now it's a party. Betty's here. I just looked down at the skull. She's looking good already, but I don't want to pick it up because I don't want it to. Ugh. So, hmm. Should we do metallics or should we do the Southern Rust Cat? Southern Rust Cat. Let's do that one next. So the Southern Rust Cat, what that is, is that there's these three paints. It comes in this set right here. And it starts off with a, a yellow, like a burnt orange, and then a brown. And you put them on in that order. And it is a texturized thing. And as you layer these paints, oops, and they mix together, it's going to create a authentic rust look. And so this is, this piece started off like this, clear. And I did this one yesterday so y'all could see what it does. Doesn't that look like rust? And I thought that that would be absolutely adorable if you put some sand and some shells in there for, Christmas. I just thought that was just adorable. So, um, oh, this is another patina I did yesterday for my husband. He mm -hmm. tried to, he tried to walk out of here yesterday with that one. And so you, uh, got all these at the Dollar Tree and then his eyes, he's solar paneled. So love beachy. So do I, I love my coastal and my beachy themes. We did say beachy, right? Not the other. Okay, we said beachy, yeah. So, sorry. It's been that kind of a morning. So I'm gonna make sure that these are mixed up nice and good, because again, you wanna get, I don't know what's in it. I don't know if it's sand or cornflakes. I don't know what it is, but to me, it, it's very gritty. And to me, I just say that it's sand. I try to get all the sand off the bottom. I don't know what it is, but to me, it's sand. And I just want to make sure that I'm getting it all mixed up really, really well. Yeah. Did y'all can see how the sand or the mixture is at the bottom? So you definitely want to get it mixed up well. And it seems like the brown, which is the top, that one you really have to make sure you stir really, really well. All right, Chris, uh, Christy, I'll see you later, girl. Yeah, the Dollar Tree is great for crafting supplies. And you just pick up some stuff and then add your own little twist to it. And y'all saw at the beginning of the video, I showed you this pumpkin that I did in the Miss Lillian's Patina in the Age Gold. Well, let me show you what it looked like when I got it from the Dollar Tree. Yes, that's the same pumpkin.
a dollar and just added my own patina in the aged gold, the Missilians aged gold patina, uh, metal smith. And so that's what we're doing. So let's see here. What do we want to do in patina? Do we want to, let's do the other pumpkin in patina. Cause that's what I wrote. I wanted to do one in the uh, metal smith and then I wanted to do one in patina. So I get a one and a half inch chip brush. This paint, this technique, the Southern Rust Kit I found is best used with a really inexpensive chip brush. You don't want to use a good brush that's got really smooth. You want it gritty and nasty and you don't want uniform smooth lines. So for me, the nastier, the grittier, the, um, you know, just the most inexpensive chip brush you can find is the best to use with the Southern Rust Kit. Now for your yellow layer, you wanna make sure that you get really, really good coverage with the yellow layer because you don't, I don't want that orange to show through. But you definitely wanna get good coverage with your yellow layer. And then you'll add the burnt orange and the dark brown sparingly over the whole thing and that will give you your rust. Now, I've also found that there's two ways that you can work this Southern Rust Kit too. If you want a really muddled, dirty, dirty look, um, like I was on the ornament that I showed you guys, then you go ahead and you do this whole process while it's wet. If you want a more distinct line, a more distinct variation in the colors, then what you do is you let each coat dry before you put on the next color. I know it sounds weird, but it, it does. It, it really gives it two different effects. And so I am going to get me one of these since it's a styrofoam pumpkin. There we go. And now I can do the top. I didn't realize that the thing was hollow until uh, yesterday and I started putting the, I put that one on a stick to a pumpkin on a stick. I put my pumpkin on a stick and uh, it was hollow. It popped. I was like, dang. Thank you for sharing. Betty, I appreciate it, hon. So I'm not worried about, well, I am gonna do the stem. I was gonna say I might do the stem in something else, but I decided just now that I'm gonna do the stem in the Southern Rust Kit as well okay so you don't have to some people don't switch brushes between the colors I do it's just a personal preference thing it's not anything you have to do but I prefer to switch brushes and so then you just take this and sparingly put it all around some people brush it on and you'll get a smoother rust I like to dab it on and make it a little thicker. It makes it a little bit rustier and crustier. And I do like that look when it's dabbed on. It just kind of gives it a thicker rust look. And then like I said, when it dries, I'll show you guys when I'm done how dark it'll change once it dries. Of course, paint's wet. It's gonna be a little bit shiny. <coughs> 
My pumpkin is not cooperating. Bad, bad pumpkin. See if I can get the stick in the stem, maybe. There we go. Nope, there we go. Yeah, it was, oops, I popped all the way through. No biggie. Just put that back down in there and I'll paint over it and you'll never know I popped through the wrong place. And it was a dollar. So you can see how it's starting to muddle and mix. Hi, Nina. See that Nina just joined us. Here we go. So what I'm doing is I'm using the Miss Lillian's paint line right now. It's the Miss Lillian's Southern Rust Kit that I'm using on this pumpkin from the Dollar Tree. Styrofoam pumpkin from the Dollar Tree. Okay. So now, I'll get it some over here. Why is it not staying? Now we're gonna go on to our brown. There we go. And I like using a smaller chip brush. I think this is about a, a three quarters of an inch. And so I definitely want the top very, very, the stem very, very brown. So I'm putting a lot of the brown on the stem. And then again, I'm just gonna walk it out and dab, 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 dab. All the way around. And the, cuddle, the colors will start muddling into each other And when we're done, you'll never know that this came from the dollar store. Came from the Dollar Tree. It is a cool look. You know, I'm, I'm really liking the fact that I'm gonna have my patina pumpkins and I'm gonna have some rusty, crusty, you know, coastal seaside kind of pumpkins as well. Very, very happy. So with everything that's going on in your you guys' areas, what about um, Halloween trick-or-treaters? Are they allowing them in y'all's area? Our area, they're putting some restrictions, but I think they are allowing it. Um, I don't know. I think that this whole thing is just crazy what's going on in the world. So, and I'm not really doing, I'm not worried about going to the bottom because who's going to see the bottom of it? It's going to be sitting, but I did, you know, paint the base color there. And so that way I'm just kind of going around the bottom edge. where I think it'll be, oh, let's see here, let's get that again. 
And so there's my $1 pumpkin. And when the rust dries, it's gonna look like this. Hey, Austin, would you do me a favor and turn off my ring light? It's awfully shiny. And I don't think they're getting a really good representation of the color. Oh, that's much better, yeah. Yeah, so that is what wet looks like. And that is gonna turn into that once it's dry. So let me see, where am I gonna put this bad boy? Where's your third jar? My third jar is on that pumpkin. Oh, I can move this pumpkin. And I'll put this pumpkin there. And be nice, be nice, be nice, be nice. And there we go. It's sitting on top of my jar. So you, do you guys see how this is, the patina is starting? Let me turn the light back on. Yeah, turn the light back on. And can you move the camera? You see, I got stuff all over my hands. So, see how that's starting to patina? Yeah, it does, Betty. It is a very, very natural. In Spain, it isn't a big thing going around house to house. Yeah, I know in Spain it's not, but it's a national pastime here in the U.S. And so, yeah, Betty, it's one of the most natural looking rust that I have ever seen in any paint line. And that's one of the reasons that I use it and the, and the uh, Metal Smith line. Um, it's because it's a great looking patina. It's a great looking, uh, natural looking rust. And so actually I did a coastal um, dresser that I did a coastal blend. And I, I mix my paint lines, guys. I'm not afraid to say it. So I painted it in Dixie Bell. No, that one I painted with Miss Lillian's because that was our Miss Lillian's challenge. And um, I painted it in Miss Lillian's, but this is what I did. It was like the really shiny chrome handles. And so I did the Southern Rust Kit on the handles. And so it's gonna be very beachy and very coastal, but I mix my paint lines and I mix my products. And that's the great thing about it about a lot of these paint lines and products is that you can mix them. It's not, you can only use one. You don't have to only use one. You can use several on one project and they go great together. So I'll, what, I'm gonna do this one in the Southern Rust Kit, but I won't do that because I know I've, don't wanna keep you guys forever. And I've already been on a, a little over half an hour. So what's next? Um, oh, let me show you guys. This is the gold skull. And so, what, about 15 minutes it's been since I sprayed it? And so that is the uh, metal smith in the aged gold. And like I said, I added the extra patina powder on it around the eyes and the rose. And so that's within 15 minutes. It's already massively, massively changing. Love it. And so right now, that is the female and that is the male. Can you turn the light off? So there you guys, there you go guys. The male and the female from the Dollar Tree. Couldn't believe it. I walked in, I was like, those are so cute. So let me put that back down there. Hopefully I won't step on it. Um, let's see here. Where's Mr. Skelly Bones? Oh, Mr. Skelly Bones is in there. We got a huge, well, I haven't even prepped him yet. Still. Oh, you just want to show him off? 
I got this uh, plastic skeleton, the one that has like the bendy elbows. And so Austin slick sticked it for me yesterday. And so I haven't decided if I'm gonna patina, I think I'm gonna patina him, but I haven't decided if I'm gonna patina him or if I'm gonna Southern Rust Kidding. So that's why I haven't done anything else, but we're gonna be doing that one. But we just haven't decided what we're gonna do with him yet. He's just so cute. So um, let's see here. If you want a little bit of metallic, now Miss Lillian's I think has over 30 metallics. They put together what's called a um, miniature sample set and they come with three colors of the metallics in them and miniature size, yeah. And so they're pre-packaged. You can't just decide which ones you get. Um, but the one that they just sent me, this one is called Lollipop, and this one is called Jam, and this one, I just think it's so cute. This one's called Persnickety. Persnickety. So, um, I've done a couple of base coats on some things. And so this one is done, this is done in the lollipop, and that's just one coat of the metallic and lollipop. And then I did this star in the persnickety. And then I did this little sign in jam. And so let's see. Oh, put that one back there. Trying to make sure that I know where everything is because, you know, I don't know about you guys, but <clears throat> I'm famous for putting stuff in a safe place and then forgetting where the safe place is. That's me. So, okay, let's do, let's do another coat of, no, you know what? I don't think this needs another coat, actually. Let's play with our Magnolia design. Let's see here. So I've got this little sign that I did in Jam. And I'm going to be using, if you guys aren't familiar with Magnolia Design, they are a company that does screen prints like silk screens. And they're great on different projects. If you look behind me, the Hocus Pocus sign, this one, um, coffee is my love language, uh, not every witch lives in Salem, those are all uh, Magnolia Design. The porch leaner that you see here is Magnolia Design as well for their porch leaner. And then Austin. Would you hand me the Happy Halloween and the Welcome Fall signs that are over there? Because I love the way the Happy Halloween sign came out. So this is on metal, and this is Welcome Fall. And Happy Halloween. And that just turn out wonderful. I mean, the, the lines on them are so crisp that that is just amazing. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So on this one, I'm just want to do a little sign for my shop window and I've got paint and stuff all over my hands. So give me just a second. I'm going to dip my hand in my water and I got Southern Rust Kit all over me. Then I want to put Southern Rust Kit all over my metallics. Don't want to. That's good enough for government work. So I want to do a little sign that I can hang up in my shop window to let people know that I carry Magnolia as well. And so these are self-adhesive uh, stencils. And I always have trouble getting them off of the paper for the first time. always have trouble with that. There we go. So they just peel off like this. 
and then Austin, I need the light and can you put that so they can see what I'm doing? Let's get the camera right. Let's see here, let's, there, okay. There we go, perfect. So I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna put the this right off to the side. And then you kind of go from the middle and you smooth it out because you don't want air bubbles and stuff in your stencil. And then I'm gonna use the Magnolia Design Company logo right there. Always, yep, there we go. Get the Magnolia Design right there, looks good. And so I'll flip it around so you guys can see. And so I've decided that I'm gonna do the flower in what the color that's called almond latte. Eek. Boy, there we go. There we go. And this stuff is really kind of like pudding when you first get it. It's a very thick chalk paste. And there are chalks and there are inks. The chalks you can like use on a chalkboard and wash off. And so if you've got one chalkboard, you can do them over and over again for different occasions. And so you just wanna make sure you get it nice and good and stirred up. Stir, stir, stir. And then you just take a little bit. Where'd I put my squeegee? I just had my squeegee. And you guys are probably sitting there going, it's right there, Krista. My little green squeegee. Anyway, you can use the little small ones and just scrape it over. Just wanna make sure you get it all the way around. You don't see it, Austin? No. Yeah, I don't know what I, I mean, I just had it. Cause I mean, I just used it to get the air bubble out of this design and I set it down. Make sure I got good, good coverage. And then I'm gonna let that sit for just a second. You can pop them off pretty quickly. I usually just let them sit for just a second. Oh, there's my squeegee. Duh. I put it underneath of the bag of the little ones. Oh, good job, Mama. All right, Betty, I'll see you soon, hon. And so this one, I'm doing the Magnolia design in raspberry. Again, I'm just stirring it, making sure that it's stirred well. You wanna make sure you get all your clumps and stuff out. And you don't need a lot of this paste. You just put it on one end. And you just swipe it across. making sure you hit all of the stencil. 
I usually like to go across it a couple different directions and just to make sure that I hit everything because I see right there in that corner oops and I can go back and wipe and wash that off since it's the chalk okay so put that there drop that in there and then you just peel it up look at how crisp those lines are it's just amazing how crisp they are and then I'll pull this one off in the Magnolia Design Co. You can see that there's silk screen and then you just go back and you wash them, you rinse them out and then you put them back on the sheet we just peeled them off of and they will restick. So there is the Magnolia Design Co. So what do you guys think? So, okay guys, uh, here is one last look at the patina ornament that we did. Let me grab the lady skull. back down there um, I'll tip pop this off so you guys can see the pumpkin I don't want to take it off out of the um, let's see here and get you guys over so there is the pumpkin in the southern rust kit and then there is the pumpkin in the patina and some of the Christmas ornaments that we did. So guys, thank you so much again, taking items from the Dollar Tree. Very simple, very easy, very inexpensive, and you can do so much with it with a little innovation and creativity and some wonderful products. So I will see you guys back on my page on Monday. Bye guys.